Hello and welcome back to my playthrough of Pokemon Silver in the last episode. We destroyed Sabrina in a, well, I say destroyed, it was a pretty tight Yeah, at the Saffron City Gym. And then we made our way to the Kanto Power Station, found out that there had been some thievery going on there, and that the thief had supposedly moved here to sell it. Sorry, Cerudian City. And um, we finished off having not really done much around this town, so we're going to have a further explore around Cerudian City. We've got a Diglett there. We were held up by robbers before. I heard that some shady character is skulking about. I won't stand for it if he turns out to be a thief. And uh, then we've already spoken to you. That was the. Anyway, the train travels over 340 miles per hour. It goes between Kanto and Johto in almost no time at all. It really makes Johto accessible. Route 9 stretches to the east. The power plant is at the end. Yep. Okay, so that's that. Uh, yeah, we've already spoken to you. So when I go into here, yeah, there's a notice here. The bike shop has moved to Goldenrod City in Johto. So that's uh, locked. We've got the mart. We never went in here. You run into many trainers on the way to Cerulean Cape. They want to see how they stack up against other trainers. Misty is about the only person in the town who can beat the trainers at Cerulean Cape. Okay, so it looks like we'll be going there. Oops! I'm so sorry! You're not hurt, you're not hurt okay? I'm very busy. No time for talking with you. Not good for me if seen by somebody. Oh no, you've seen me already. I make big mistake. Hey, you, forget about me, okay? You see, here, no, nothing. Okay, like it, nothing. Bye bye, a go go. Well, that's a particularly shady character. And the gym is empty. So I wonder what's happened there. Um. So, we've done the Pokemon Center. Have we been in here? My husband lives happily with Pokemon he got through trades. Ah, I'm so happy. <laughs> well, good to know that he is. We get a Kangaskhan. Go, go. And a Zubat. 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 To be fair, you don't really need to get a Zubat in a trade. But nonetheless. We've already spoken to that guy, we've asked him whether we, and uh, we've spoken to this person as well, haven't we? Yeah, talk about the item binder. And we just went in there. Okay, so it looks like we're going to have to keep heading. Let's keep heading up. Let's head towards Cerulean Cape. And see where this leads us. So we've got the classic Nugget Bridge. Uh, Hey kid, me am a Team Rocket member kind of guy. Come from another country, a trainer number one me. Think I did if I stop the energy, be big panic for here people. Secret, it is my mission, so tell you I not. But if when you do versus me, a man I be and mine secret to you, I tell. Hey kid, battle begin, we do. So that's the classic. I'm from a foreign country and therefore cannot, um, you know sentences in the correct order. Um, it should be a simple battle. We'll go to Sudorudo. And um, we'll use Rock Slide. Assuming I can cut through confusion. There we go. That should finish him off. Easy peasy. Aye! No, no, no. I believe, believe it. I can't. Strong very much be you. Matt, I am not to you. Okay, tell you my secret well I machine pot steel when he hide I did in gym of the cerulean. Inside water put it put it I did. Look for in water centre of gym at boy, but you forget me not. Beat you for sure will Team Rocket come from Johto will they? Mine friends, yes. Will revenge they are. You say what Team Rocket bye bye a go go broken it is, is says you Oh no, should I do what now on from me? Well, he seems a bit confused. Um, we'll go back to the gym and pick up that part. That makes more, more enough sense. So do we need to go item finder?
There we go, we get the machine part. Okay, so I think uh, of the moment, assuming I can fly, I should be able to fly now. Uh, I can fly to Lavender Town. Actually, no, it makes very little. Should definitely fly to Cerulean. That way I don't need to go back through Rock Tunnel and we will make our way back. We've already taken on all these guys. Done all of this route. And then... Yeah, probably didn't need to say that without Goldeen, but nonetheless. Okay, so... That's the machine part done. So, what do we want to do? We're on 44... You... So, uh, that's that. We'll go talk to this guy, I guess. Man, ah, yeah, that's the missing part from my beloved generator. You found it? Waha, thanks. Here, take this TM as a reward. So, you get TMS7. TMS7 is my zap cannon. It is a powerful technique. It is not what anyone would consider accurate, but it packs a wallop. My beloved generator, keep pumping the electricity out. Since the generator has been fixed, the manager has been cheerful. All right, we can finally get the magnet train running again. The generator's up and running. It's making electricity to spare. The generator's running again. We'll have to beef up our security presence. Okay, cool. So that's that. Um, I'm pretty sure that none of my Pokemon can learn Zap Cannon. Um, just because none of my Pokemon can learn electric moves. I don't know. Yeah, there we go. Not that I'd really use it again in this hack, which is, I think... 50% accurate is uh, not one to rely on, in uh, my experience uh, with this game. So, nonetheless, so that's that. Um, so, we can either head back... I think we'll do Cerulean for the moment. Um, again, the gym is empty, so... I wonder where Misty is. Um, so we could head up to Cerulean Cape, because obviously they said that there are a fair few trainers over there. I think that's what we will do. I don't need to worry about this, because I forgot that um, we can't get back to Mount Moon, so... Yeah, we'll head up to Cerulean Cape, see where that is, see if we can get to the Cerulean Gym, maybe we can't at the moment. We'll then head south, um, back to Saffron City. Probably head to Lavender Town, although we do need the XPN card for that. Um, I don't know, what will we do? Probably head to Saffron, then maybe to Celadon? Okay, so this is um, Cerulean Cape. We'll have a look around here, see what uh, Pokemon there are in this little area just here. Um, evidently there are Venomoth, and there are more Abra. Lots of Abra. I think by now, if you don't have an, you know, then that, okay, so nothing too new. Goldeen. I like how I can flamethrower Goldeen. Okay, so that's now blocked off. Let's just see if uh, see if the item finder is working here as well. Yep. Okay. Goldeen, we don't need to worry about. Maybe I was just really bad at searching last time. Oh, doesn't matter. If there's nothing there, there's nothing there, it doesn't really matter. We can now head up. Uh, to here. And okay, so we said we have already know that there's going to be a fair few trainers around here. We find a potion in that tree. Figured a, a lunar tree, and now, uh, okay, so you beat the six of us trainers to win a fabulous prize. Think you've got what it takes. So it's like the Nugget Bridge, but slightly moved along, and with Schoolboys. Schoolboy Dudley, to be precise, who's got a level 35 oddish, which is both impressive and not. So impressive that you got it to an oddish, to level 35, and not 
because you haven't evolved it. This is my best, I have no regrets. Okay, so they'll all be saying that's you. I'm second, now it's serious. Because it wasn't serious after the first one, obviously. Got a lass, her name is Ellen. Uh, she has a wiggly tuff. Which we can take out with a couple of, uh, a couple of flamethrowers. And then she's got a sushi. She's got a ground ball, um, which we can low kick to death. How could I lose? Next up is... His number three, I won't be easy. It says Schoolboy Joe, who's got a tan Tangler? Tangela? I don't know. I can never remember if it's Tangela or Tangela. And a Vaporeon at level 33. So we'll um solar beam it. There we go. Ow! Stomped flat. So, I did my best, I have my regrets, obviously. Uh, next ones. I number four, getting tired. Last Laura has got a Gloom, which we'll take out in one hit. A Pidgeotto, which we'll take out in one hit. Again, all of these guys are like 10 levels below me, so they're not really any threat. And a Blossom, which is quite nice. Okay, there we go. So we beat Last Laura. We've now got number five. He says he's Stump Us. It's Camper Lloyd. He's got an Edo King, so powerful, powerful Pokemon there. Um, but I'm gonna go knocked out. Confusion. Got the confusion should take that out. Knocked out will go to level 46. Camper Lloyd is out. Too much. I did my best. I have no regrets. Good for you. Um, great. I didn't mean to fall down there. Let's see if there's any. Maybe there's like a. a Pokemon just do like this area. No, there's not. Okay, so, okay, and then you. I'm the last in line, but I tell you I'm tough, says Alas Shannon, who has a Paris, which is an unfortunate Pokemon to have. We'll take it out pretty simply. She's got another Paris. Uh, we'll go to Arbok this time. It's a quadruply weak to poison, so Stardewon will definitely take it out. And a Parasect, which has exactly the same issue. So that's like the Paras trainer who was opposite, like just outside Cerulean Cave. Sort of like the replacement for her. You're kidding, she goes. I did my best, I have no regrets. Cool. Next up. Mufufufu. I have nothing to do with the six pack trainers. I wanted, I waited here to beat you when you were tired out by all the battles. See, that would be a good idea if I hadn't won quite so easily. Um, yay, for Iron Tail missing all the time. There we go, hits eventually. Super Nerd Pat was defeated. Aren't you tired at all, he says. I'm sorry, I won't cheat anymore. Good idea. You took on more you took on one more battle than you expected, but you won anyway. As promised, you win a prize. So we get a nugget. But after seeing how you battle, I want to see how I'll fare. How about it? Let me take you on. So we've got Cool Trainer Kevin. He's got a Rhyhorn. Um, we use Dig. See how much that does. It doesn't do a lot. That's okay. It wasn't really aiming when, you know, him coming through. Perfect. Velocent. Solar Beam will take out that Rhyhorn, he's got a Charmeleon, um, so we'll go to Sudorudo. And use Rock Slide, there we go, and he's also got a War Turtle. Um, I think I'll just go Arbok this time. Um, use Sludge Bar, one hit KO. I've never had a battle this good, he says. That was a great battle. You and your Pokemon are truly outstanding. Thank you very much. Cool Trainer Kevin. We'll cut through here and pick up this protein and then we'll keep moving. There's a heart and then. Aw, oh, why do you have to show up and bug us now? Do you know what they call people like you? Pests. You heard me right, pest. Oh, those badges you have. Are they Johto Gym badges? If you have age, you must be good. Okay then, come to Cerulean Gym. I'll be happy to take you on. I'm Misty, the gym leader in Cerulean. So she was on a date. Ash Ketcher won't be too happy. Or maybe that was Ash. Who 
Just doing it again. Anyway, so Sea Cottage and Bill's house. Um, hmm, you know Bill? He's my grandson. He's in Johto. He's doing something with PCs, so I'm house-sitting. My grandson Bill told me about a Pokemon that has a long tongue. If you have that Pokemon, may I see it, please? Okay, so that sounds like a Lickitung. Let's see if we can grab... We, I'm sure we have a Lickitung. Yeah, we definitely do. Uh, just give it a sec. Uh, deposit in... Alligator. Withdraw. Not in that one. Change box. We'll heal up. We'll do this. We'll see what he has to say. I show him a lickitung. Ah, so that is lickitung. Isn't it cute? That's so kind of you. Thanks. This is a token of my appreciation. We get an ever stone. Okay, so maybe this will be like a source of stones. Come visit again sometime. Okay, let's exit. Ah, my grandson mentioned a round green Pokemon that has leaves growing on its head. If you have that Pokemon, may I see it, please? That is not the Pokemon I was told about. A round green Pokemon with leaves coming out of its head. It sounds like an oddish. Oh, don't be an oddish. I bet you I don't have a spare oddish. Uh, where do I catch Oddish? In Azalea Town, I guess. Um, okay, well, anyway, um, let's do the let's do the gym, frankly. Yo, champ in the making, since Misty was away, I went out for some fun too. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Um, nice to hear you're getting some. Um, sorry. So yeah, okay, well that, yeah, that is a bit frustrating, knowing that, um, uh, deposit, like, a change box. Yeah, it looks like we'll have to find an oddish, uh, another one. That is. I don't think, no we haven't, we've just seen Berlin and Abra, so... Anyway, let's see what the water type gym has in store for us to probably near enough finish off this episode, probably. Anyway, don't let my elegant swimming unnerve you. I don't quite know how elegant swimming unnerves someone. Anyway, Brianna, you have a sea king at level 35. Um, so we're blossom. As usual, and we solar beam. There we go. And another sea king. Solar beam will take you out as well. Don't be too smug about meeting me. Misty will destroy you if you get complacent. Glove, I'm first. Come and get me. No, you were second. Swimmer Parker wants to battle. He's got a horsey. I reckon I can take on this horsey by my shell. Um. I should definitely stop having uh There we go, our bulk. This is what we want to see. Some sludge bombs. It's a good thing it didn't go to a kingdom. <laughs> Otherwise that would be a bit a bit harder. Um yeah, we'll swap in our bulk. This tea has grown much better in the past few years. Don't let your guard down or you'll be crushed. Sorry about being away, let's get on with it, says Swimmer Diana, who's got a gold up. That's great, does a nice amount of damage. There we go, Diana was defeated. I give up, you're the winner. I'll be swimming quietly. And so, Misty. I was expecting you, you pest. You may have you may have a lot of Johto gym badges, but you better not take me too lightly. My water type Pokemon are tough. No intention on taking you lightly, Misty. 
Sorry for ruining your date. My first Pokemon is a Golduck at level 42, which is high. And it's only water type, but it will no psychic type attacks. Um, I'm gonna go knockdown, I think. Yeah, there you go, no psychic. That would have been a bad um, thing to run into. So we want to go fly. See how much that does. That's good. Ah, oh, there we go. Easy peasy. Sweet two hit KO with knocked out with a crit. Crit probably mattered. Um, but we'll take that. Next. She's got a Lapras. Um, so Lapras is water ice. Ice is weak to many, many things. Um, um not weak to I can't go in Noctowl because Noctowl's weak. Volpix is weak to water. I could do Arbok, I think. Probably my best choice. Uh, we'll go for a Screech to start off with. Goes for the Rain Dance. Try a Sludge Bomb. Oh, that so close to taking her out. Okay, we're faster, so Sludge Bomb will take out that Lapras. Bad memories of Misty having a Lapras from one of my previous um, previous Let's Plays. Okay, she's got a Quagsire, so Quagsire is pretty much get out awesome. This will hurt Quagsire a hell of a lot. Solar Beam will destroy Quagsire. I am really surprised that it did not die there. Really, really surprised. But there we go. Use Acid to finish off Quagsire, and her final Pokemon is Starmie? It is Starmie. Um, hmm, can't go into Arbok. Um, can't go into Volpex, can't go into Sudowoodo. Could go Noctowl, could stay Blossom. Let's go Noctowl, see how much we can do. Oh, he's fly. And I have myself in confusion, and uses Ice Beam. And we hit. Okay, okay, probably going to take me out with Ice Beam. I was going to go to the takedown and take myself out anyway. Okay, that's tough. Okay, I'm confused. I'm hoping I cut through the confusion. Sweet Powder hits. Yes, that's excellent. Um, of course, she uses a full heal because she's a high-level Kanto trainer. Uh, goes for the R. Oh, ice Beam, of course. How did you mistake? Come on, fight through it, fight through it, fight through it. <gasps> okay, I'm dead. Blossom's dead, um, unless I remove. So it's probably best just to go to for Alligator and just sort of tank out some of her hits. I can use Hidden Power actually here, because obviously I'm bug type Hidden Power against her Psychic type will actually be very. Will be super effective. We get the crit hit. The crit did probably matter in that case, but we take out her Stami with for Alligator. I was kind of hoping not to use for Alligator just because he does. Certainly, um. I say he, it's a she, you've never noticed. Ah, female for Alligator has certainly been um, doing an awful lot of the work. Um, so, we get the Cascade Badge. Um, are there many strong trainers in Johto? Like you, I mean. I'm gonna travel one day so I can battle some skilled trainers. Okay. Cool, so we beat Misty at the Cerulean City Gym. Um, ooh, you showed me how tough you are, as always. That was one heck of a great battle. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do now, I think, I'm going to head south to Saffron, and then I'm going to grab the train over to Johto. And then because I'm going to do that, I'm going to. The reason I want to do that is um, if I do that. It allows me to catch an Oddish and then come back, and then um, I can show a Darling Oddish to that man, and I would assume if it's stones, I might get a Leaf Stone, which I don't know if I've already got. Um, so, in the meantime, we will quickly zip through this. Got a little bit more time just to spare. Uh, again, just looks like Venom and Meowth, so nothing too interesting. We've got the Daycare here. Yeah! I sense a sinister shadow hovering over you. Take this to ward it off. You get a cleanse tag. You were in mortal danger, but you're protected now. Okay. 
My grandma is into warding off what she believes to be evil spirits. I'm sorry that she startled you. So we don't have a daycare there anymore. Um, we'll see what this kind of stag is. It helps repel wild Pokemon. If I wanted to do that. So, we're back to Saffron. Is Saffron the one with the... Yeah, it is. So, we'll pop in here. We'll soon depart for Golden. Are you coming on board? Yeah. Sorry, but you don't have a pass. So, Hyde, you have a rail pass. I have one or two things up on the road. The Maggot Train have rail passes. Before the Maggot Train station was built, there was a house here. A little girl named Copycat used to live there. Whew. How many times have I gone back and forth between Kanto and Jojo? Okay, so how do I get a pass? Let's do a switch on a radio for them. Okay. Hmm. So it looks like we've got some, uh, some extra stuff to do. It looks like we can't just uh, head back to Jojo as easily as I was hoping. Um, it's not Sunday or Wednesday, so I can't um, take the ferry back. I could flight it into Go Plateau and then use Abra. That's actually probably the best way of doing it, to be honest, right now. And then because... So, um, today's Tuesday for me, so um, tomorrow will be Wednesday and that will allow me to get the train back. Um... That sounds like a decent enough plan. Yeah, I'll do that, okay. I'm going to fly to Indigo Plateau quickly. I'm going to use... That guy no longer is there with his Abra. That's so... Annoying. I'm now trapped. Trapped. I think I'm now trapped. Oh no, I can fly out of here. Okay. Whew, that was a bit uh, lucky. Um, without that Abra... I was just worried I was trapped because I don't have waterfalls, so I can't go back up Tojo Falls and get back through to Johto that way. Well, that was uh, worrying for a moment. So, we need an Oddish. Um, we'll go. We'll fly back to Saffron. I mean, I think I'm pretty much running out of time here, so uh, what we will do is we will pop over towards Saladon City, I think, is the next order of business. I take my guard job seriously. Hey, you have a Pokedex. Okay, you can go through... Okay, so um, I think we'll call it a day here. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Evidently, there's a bit more to this Tanto Trail than I had first expected. We've got to um, hopefully we'll be able to head back to Johto soon, catch an Oddish, come back. Because um, if that is Stones, that could well be the Firestone that allows me to finally evolve Volpix into Ninetales. Um, which would just be awesome, because, you know, Volpix deserves to evolve into Ninetales, the amount of... Um, work that it's done over the course of this let's play and actually that little boost that boost in power will make it uh, an even more invaluable member of our team um so yeah so all of that to come we've also obviously got more and more um kanto gyms to do that's what three now yeah three gyms down with uh, lieutenant surge Sabrina and Misty all done in quick succession. So it looks like the next one we're going to try and do is Erica, assuming that she's still there at the grass type gym in Celadon. We'll explore lots of Celadon tomorrow. Um, and I hope you'll join me then when we do that.